Hello and welcome to another Edexcel IGCSE ICT past paper question. This is paper one, the written paper from the summer of 2022. So this is the latest paper at the time of making this video in October. This paper is out of 100. It is the theory paper. So as we look through it, make sure that you do read the instructions on the front cover. Black, or black ballpoint pen. Fill in all the boxes, answer all the questions. So what will happen is in your exam, this will be the theory paper. It will be done without computers and will be a written exam. So we'll jump in and get started. Now in this paper, you must be sure to read the case study. So this is Letta who travels for work and holidays, she uses ICT for planning her travel and for entertainment. So that will give you a clue as to some of the video, some of the questions that are going to be coming up later on. So number one, Letta uses a camera and camcorder when traveling. Which one of these is a camcorder used for? Is it A, B, C or D? Is of course D, creating video files. So be sure to put an X in the correct one there. And that's one mark and we're off to a good start b which one of these connectivity types is the fastest letter could use to transfer files from a camcorder to a laptop is it a b c or d the correct answer is d it's usb that's going to be the fastest c give one reason why wi-fi is a better choice than bluetooth for transferring files from a camera to a laptop they will be sent more quickly. Could also have their more secure or higher bandwidth. D, Letter shares holiday phot photographs with their friends. Explain one reason why Letter shares her photographs using online using a social network rather than using email. Well, there's lots of reasons why you'd use social media rather than email to share photos. Reason one reason is social networking allows for interactivity because her friends can like her photographs and comment and share them. It could also have allows you to reach a wider audience if she wanted to. She might not want to reach a wider audience. She might have privacy, privacy settings, but this does allow her friends to have a more interactive element with her photographs. And two, give one reason why Letter does not have to get permission to share photographs she takes with her camera because she owns them. She owns them. She owns the copyright. E. Letta uses a camera with a 128 gigabyte memory card. Each photograph uses three megabytes of storage. Construct an expression to show how many photographs can be stored on the memory card. Now, with this one, you have to be aware that it's gigabyte, not gigabyte. Megabyte, not megabyte. So the difference is a thousand versus 1,024. If you put 1,000, you won't get any marks for this. So there are 1,024 megabytes in a Gibby byte. So what we need to do is multiply 128 by 1,024, remembering that we're not gonna be doing the calculation exactly, we're just writing an expression. So it's important to note in these questions, as you've seen in previous exams, we're just writing expressions. So that will give us the amount of Mebby bytes in a Gibby byte in 128 Gibby bytes, which is actually 131,072. So that is how many Mebby bytes in 128 Gibby bytes. So each photo uses three Mebby bytes of storage. We need to divide that by three, and that comes out at 43,690. Now, you don't have to actually have to do the calculation to get the marks here. You just need to write the expression. You can write the expression the other way around. You can do 128 divided by 3 and then multiply it by 1,024. As long as it's roughly the same, then you get your two marks. So it's important to note, no marks for writing 1,000. It has to be 1,024. That's really important. Two, which one of these is the type of storage used by the memory card? Is it cloud, flash, magnetic or optical? It is B, flash. Three, state one reason why Letters Camera uses ROM. The ROM is used to store startup instructions. Four, state one benefit to Letter of using the camera software, camera software using compression. She can take more photos as there is more space. F, explain one advantage of increasing the speed of the camera's processor. 
So the camera will be speeded up, as will any computer with a faster processor. Um, it could take more photos per second because, now that is one mark, so we need the because, because this is a two mark question, we need the because, we need to explain that. So my because is it can process each image more quickly. G, letter backs up some photographs using an optical disk drive. Complete the labeling of this diagram of an optical disk drive. Optical disk drive is CD or DVD. So it's ROM, DVD, ROM. So what you've got in the middle there, the first one, that is the spindle, and the second one is the laser. So you've got a spindle which spins around, you've got the laser that reads the disk. So number two, describe how an optical disk drive reads data from a disk. So as the disk is spinning, a laser light shines onto the surface. So the light is reflected back. If a flat area exists, this is a one. So I'm now up to two or three marks with this. Now I need to explain the other bit, how a zero is represented. And if a pit exists, so it's not detected by the photo cell, so there's no reflection back, that represents a zero. So that's how ones and, data, ones and zeros are represented on a disk. And that's how data is stored on the disk. And that is four marks. Three, state one type of optical media letter could use with the optical disk drive. So CD, DVD, I'm going to go with CD. CD, of course, stands for compact disc, but we don't need to write that out in full here. H, cameras and camcorders are examples of products that use an embedded system. Give one other example of a product that uses an embedded system. I'd go with washing machine. That's the simplest one here. Washing machines have embedded systems. And that completes question one for a total of 21 marks. That's quite a big first question there. Normally, um, maybe slightly smaller than that. That's quite a big uh, question one. So we'll go on to question two. But before we do, could you please like and subscribe? It really helps me to produce more videos. Thank you. Two, letter arrives at a hotel. Letter fills in a form at the hotel reception desk. Which one of these is an OCR reader used for? Is it finding data, opening ebooks, recognizing barcodes, or scanning text? Is course D is for scanning text. B. Letter connects to the hotel's local area network. One way of identifying a device on a network is a device name. State two other ways of identifying a device on a network. Have its IP address and its MAC address. The IP address can change, it's dynamic, but the MAC address is static, it doesn't change. Two, state two reasons for identifying devices on the network for two marks. I'll put there security reasons and logging usage. Three, state two ways a local area network LAN is different from a wide area network WAN. A LAN covers a small area, e.g. a college campus. A WAN, wide area network, covers a large geographical area. That's the key difference there. Four, explain one advantage of connecting a printer to a network. Now, this could be a little bit confusing because thinking, well, it's an advantage of just connecting a printer, surely. But what that means is it's having one printer in a room of, say, 30 computers. So there's cost advantages there. It saves money because each computer does not have to have a printer attached, and that's two marks. Five, draw one straight line from each method of protecting a network to the correct use. So what we need to do is draw lines from method to use. I'm just going to scroll down so we can see it a bit better. So the method is firewall and that blocks ports in a network. Encryption prevents data from being understood if intercepted. And biometric authenticates users. And there is no method for detects viruses from infected networks. So that is three marks. So Next question, six, which one of these connects to a local area network using gateway? Is it A, personal area network, B, server, C, smartphone, or D, wide area network? It is, of course, D, wide area network. C, letter watches a film online. Describe one way to reduce the amount of time a film appears pixelated when it first loads from an online streaming service. She needs to increase the bandwidth of the connection. So that's going to be one mark. And how is she going to do that? By removing devices that use the network. So not having so many devices using the network at the same time. So to increase the bandwidth, she needs to stop other devices using the network at the same time. Then her 
online streaming service will run a bit better. D, describe high latency. Latency is the delay. So it's that delay in time for data to travel between devices, two marks. E, the hotel network manager has administrative privileges. Explain one reason an administrator would use a network operating system to manage users. Only certain users can be given certain privileges, for example, to add or remove software. And that's why we have a network operating system to manage users. Two, explain one reason why the network manager should back up data regularly is to prevent data loss. So my answer is the network manager should back up data regularly to prevent data loss in case it's corrupted or accidentally deleted. F, to complete question two for 22 marks, the hotel staff use project management software. State what is meant by the term critical path. Now, this is a new one. I haven't seen this kind of question before in this paper, so we'll just go through that now. So critical path if this is the timeline for all dependent tasks, and that completes question two for a total of 22 marks. Question three, letter uses an online travel booking system. A, a travel booking system is one type of online service. Give two other types of online service. You can have shopping, banking, anyone here. So I've gone for shopping and banking, but you could also have education, auction sites, entertainment. Two, list two features of a travel booking system. Well, they all need to have a basket and they all need to have a checkout. B, which one of these describes the role of cookies? Is it authentication, backup, encryption, or transaction tracking? It is D, transaction tracking. Not for any other reason than that in that list. C, which one of these describes safe practice when using online systems? Is it acknowledging sources, anonymizing posts, avoiding copyright, or paraphrasing? It is B, anonymizing posts. None of the others improve safety. D. Describe two positive impacts on society of increased access to technology. Well, I'm going to start with my favourite one. Increases access to educational resources. Think about you watching this YouTube video. Access to technology allows that to happen. So it improves education by increasing access to material online, online like educational videos, and allows users to interact and comment, which is what I want you to do. So while we're on that subject, please write a comment down below how you're getting on with this video, what you hope to achieve in 2023, grades-wise. So let me know down in the comments, please, and I'll read all the comments. I'll like that comment. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. So move on to our second point, because we need two there for four marks. Well, it should create a wealthier society by increasing access to a global marketplace. If you think about a shop owner before the internet would just be limited to the local area, but with the internet can now access a global marketplace. So even if they sell really obscure items, they can reach a global marketplace as long as they're willing to deliver globally. They can sell globally. So that's another positive impact of increased access to technology. E, letter check some hotel reviews of an online community. One, describe key feature of a wiki that is different from the key features of a forum. With a wiki, users have editing rights to all content. A wiki is very much created by the community, so wiki allows users editing rights to all content. Two, describe one way an acceptable behavior policy will benefit an online community. So it will set expectations around rights and responsibilities when using the community. So the user's rights, the rights not to be insulted, etc. But also their responsibilities, their responsibilities around netiquette, things like that when using the community. So it's important, a very important thing. Three, final question of question three. Describe how one feature of an online community can be used to check that an acceptable behavior policy is being followed. That is two marks. So posts could be flagged, which can then be checked by the moderator to see if they violate the terms and conditions. So that finishes question three, 16 marks. So as always, 
please like and subscribe please take a moment to do that if you haven't done already and we'll move on as soon as you've done that we'll move on to question four question four letter uses the internet for work a letter can collaborate with others so expertise can be shared explain one other way that the internet could positively impact how letter works the internet could allow her to work from home and that would be a positive impact because it'd be less commuting more time for her and remember this is a two mark question so we need the because in there because less commuting and more time for herself and obviously positive impact on the environment then less commuting b letters employers use hosted application and storage explain one benefit to letters employers of doing this so there's two marks her employers don't need so much expensive hardware so the two mark bit because as files can be saved online via cloud so you don't need that expensive hardware to save files you can save everything on the cloud two state the type of computer used to store online software it is of course a server and that's all you need to write for a one mark question like that c describe how filter software works the filter software checks words against a, a list of blocked keywords d give two features of a strong password well think about your password minimum of eight characters special character capital letter numbers not your name etc it's a minimum of eight characters mixture of upper and lowercase letters e describe how farming is a risk to data farming with a ph is different to fishing farming is redirection so the website looks genuine and the users will be prompted to log in and enter their login details which they do so then those that data can be used inappropriately so with farming it looks like a genuine website so it might look like in a social media site or email you log in you put your details in those details are then stored to be used inappropriately f which one of these reduces sustainability is it sending fewer emails switching off the computer when not using them turning down screen brightness or d using magnetic storage rather than solid state so make sure you check the highlighted word reduces sustainability not increases and the only one that this will reduce sustainability is d because magnetic storage will use more power than solid state because you've got that disc spinning around which is going to use more power than solid state which doesn't have any moving parts g our eight mark question this is the first of two eight mark questions so you get one in question four and then question five discuss the factors that influence the choice of landline broadband or mobile broadband connectivity for rural communities so we're talking about communities that are in the middle of nowhere they don't have particularly great infrastructure so considering your answer the cost of infrastructure so you think about that thinking about landline broadband that might cost more perhaps than mobile broadband connectivity because you might need specific more specific cabling for that it might be more expensive landline broadband will require cabling to each property each community whereas mobile just uses mobile communication 4g network 5g network so that is increased cost consider the limitations of broad mobile broadband for data speed it's limited uh, with the landline broadband it will be better because it's wired it will have it will be a lot better in terms of data speeds than mobile broadband so that needs to be part of your consideration as well so it depends also on not just the cost but how fast you want it as well and mobile might be slightly slower than landline it's a similar kind of decision when you think about in your home whether you have wireless or wired network because you're going to have faster speeds with a wired network it's just always going to be the case it's going to be a lot faster than having wireless you need to consider the latency of mobile broadband so the delay so using mobile broadband there's always going to be that delay that slight delay 
might not be too noticeable, depends where you are, but it, you won't get that with landline broadband. Consider the availability of unlimited contracts. Sometimes they're small print, they aren't actually unlimited. So not as good as they sound, or if they are unlimited, they're quite expensive. They might be considerably more expensive than landline. The decision needs to be based on usage as well. But at the end of the day, it all boils down to whether there is the infrastructure in place. So in conclusion, and you must write a conclusion here, is the infrastructure in place to support landline in the first place? If not, it's going to have to be mobile broadband. Consider the flexibility of contracts as well. So when you write your conclusion, perhaps look at both sides of the arguments. Landline broadband will be faster, but if the infrastructure isn't there, then it's not going to be, it's not simply going to be possible. Broadband, mobile broadband might be more flexible. It might be able to reach for more areas, but it might be more expensive and it might be more limited and it might not be as fast as landline broadband. So for six to eight marks, the discussion compares a range of different points of view. Most points will be supported by evidence. Majority of the discussion will link to the scenario. So thinking about rural areas. A conclusion will be given that clearly links the comparisons made in the discussion. So you must write a conclusion and you are that are marked for good focus and clarity of discussion. So I suggest writing a plan. So everything I've written down here will be your plan and then you construct your answer based on that in full sentences with a conclusion for eight marks to get eight marks you must write a conclusion so i'll emphasize that again you must write a conclusion for eight marks and that's with all the eight mark questions in i gcse edexcel ict you must write a conclusion for eight marks without the conclusion you're going to limit yourself to a maximum of five marks Actually, it might not even be that. There might be mark band one without a conclusion. So please, please do write a conclusion. You get into mark band three, two or three, with a conclusion. So make sure you do that. And that completes question four. Five, letter download software to her laptop. A, explain two reasons why locally installed software is used for editing video. Now, video editing is processor intensive. So, faster access is required to the processor. Because it's locally installed software, you have faster access to the processor. Also, edits rendering could not be done seen in real time because of latency. So, when you've got a decent computer with a fast processor, you can work a lot faster than you can with cloud-based software rather than locally based software. So edits and rendering cannot be seen in real time with cloud-based because of latency. There's always that delay because of the network. Whereas when you're working with local software, local in, locally installed software, it using it directly, they're not, there's not a network to get in the way of that. You're working directly with the computer. There's no network and no servers to worry about. So then you, two of those, two each gives you four marks. And remember the because. So a two mark question of which there were two there needs a because in it. B, state two purposes of communication software. Well, the obvious one is sending messages and emails, but you need another one as well. I'm going to do exchanging data or files, which can be done via communication software. So my second point there is exchanging data or files. C, explain why system software should be updated regularly. System software should be updated regularly to, to, to ensure it is secure because, because this is too marked, we need a because, new threats arrive all the time. So you need to be able to cope with them with the latest patches, the latest updates. D, list two peripheral devices that could be used to input text by people who are unable to use a mouse and a keyboard. We've got microphone, trackpad, touchscreen. So I put microphone and touchscreen there. E, explain one benefit of using defragmentation after installing software on a magnetic 
hard disk. Well, what defragmentation does is imagine a room, a storage room, full of boxes and they're all placed everywhere. There's no thought gone into it. They're all over the place. If I take the time and I push them all up into one corner or one side of the room, push them all together, then I create myself a lot more space. It's the exact same principle with defragmentation. What I need to do is push all the files into one space so it can speed up my access to data and make things more efficient. So it puts the file fragments back in order because they've been stored non-sequentially. And what sequentially means is put in the right order. So putting using defragmentation, I put them in the right order. So there's mounts for two marks again, 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 because, because needs to be in a two mark question because the word because needs to be in there. But in a one mark question, it doesn't. And this is a one mark question. We only need one word here. State the type of utility software that reduces the size of a file. It is, of course, compression. Now, the second of the eight mark question. Again, a conclusion, a plan. You should have time for those. I'm going to write down some points that are going to help you with this. You need to be constructing sentences. You need to be thinking about your answers very carefully. You need to construct it carefully. I would ask for some more paper if it was me and write down a plan. So I can plan this out before I start writing. I wouldn't go in and start writing whatever comes into my head because you're not going to structure your answer very well. And you're going to limit your marks no matter how good that is. So we need a plan and a conclusion. Discuss the choices society must make about the rights of individuals when monitoring movements and communication. So you need to be thinking about privacy, control, surveillance, mistrust, intrusion, nothing to hide argument. So think about the negatives, but also think about the positives as well. It can stop. It can be used as a crime deterrent to stop crime. People have nothing to hide and nothing to worry about. There's always that argument. Consider also things of mistrust, surveillance, control, what the data is going to be used, used for. Some people feel like it's going to discriminate against certain groups, maybe particular uh, groups in society, their impact on particular groups of society that, that surveillance, increased surveillance and monitoring movement has. But remember, in your answer, you must write down a conclusion. So you must make several points for and against the use of surveillance, increased use of surveillance. So for six to eight marks, mark band three, to get the maximum out of this, which you'll want, eight marks is quite a lot of marks out of 100. It's coming up for 10%. Could easily change a grade boundary for you. So what you've got to do is compare a range of different points of view for and against and then form your conclusion. So in conclusion, say there are arguments for and against the use of surveillance. I would suggest it is a positive in society, but it needs to be carefully monitored what the data is used for, and it must comply to GDPR regulations, so data protection regulations, general data protection regulations. So as long as it complies to that, then there isn't usually a problem because it can be used to help people and to cut down on crime and make people feel safe, particularly in city centres. So you must write a conclusion to that and you must sum up your points. And you're given quite a lot of space there for a reason. It goes into nearly two pages there. So that completes question five for a total of 21 marks and a total for this paper out of 100 marks. Now, thank you for watching. As always, big thank you for watching. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Please do that. Please comment below how you're getting on. What do you think about the 2023 exams? Great boundaries. What are they going to be like? Do you think they're going to be higher than 2022? Any comments like that, let's start the discussion down below. I'm always grateful of your comments and I like to hear the discussion. Really, really interesting about your thoughts, particularly on grade boundaries and the way things are going with exams. I wish you good luck with your exams and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.